Welcome back to Herbarium How To's. Today we're going to mount a plant specimen. So before we begin, we're going to go to the collection and we're going to start at this cabinet in the specimen processing queue. As you can see, it says to mount because we're going to mount a specimen today. So open up the cabinet, take a look inside and grab from uh, one of the cubbies that says ready to mount. You'll pull out the specimens and then we can begin. In order to mount a specimen, first obviously you need your dried plant material and along with your plant material you want to ensure that you have a label. Then you need your mounting materials, so you need archival paper, you'll need some glue strips, potentially some scissors to cut your glue strips, you'll need glue, packets, of various sizes. And lastly, you'll need some paint brushes to distribute the glue on the specimen. All right, once you have your materials, then you can begin mounting. And it's important that you begin with the label. And we want to ensure that the label is in the bottom right corner, like this. And we're gonna put glue on the back of the label and we're just gonna move it here so you can see better. We're just gonna put glue on the edges here, four dots. You want to be somewhat conservative with the glue. You don't really need a lot. And then use your paintbrush to distribute the glue along the edges, like so. And you may notice that you might need a little bit more, so I'm going to put a couple big drops there in the middle and distribute. Like that. Oops. Okay. Once you feel good about distributing the glue on your label, then we'll place it on the archival paper. Again, we want to do this in the bottom right corner. So I'm going to take it, place it down here, and smooth it out gently. Oops. There we go. So now we have our label on our archival paper, and now we can work with the plant specimen. So with any specimen, you want to ensure that you have um, some leaves that are facing upward and some leaves that are facing downward because you never can really anticipate what these might be used for. So you want to try to ensure that you present the best material with most variation. Um, you want to ensure if you have flowers, as you can see here, um, that they are presented well on the archival paper too. And again, just like when we do the label, uh, we want to be more conservative about how we place the glue. So we don't just want to go all over. We're going to um, put some dots. And as you can see, some of these leaves, they're showing um, the abaxial surface and some of them are showing the adaxial surface. So that's good. We have the upper and the lower side of the leaves. So this is good. We don't really need to turn any leaves. Um, you'll see that this specimen also has some roots and we're, we'll need to glue and tape those down too. Um, and before we start placing the glue, we want to ensure that this material actually fits on the archival paper. So we're gonna move this. I'm gonna be gentle. Make this fit as nicely as possible. And you also want to keep in mind that there's going to be other components added to this specimen. We'll be adding a packet um, in wherever we have space. And the accession seal always goes in the top right corner. So we want to leave room for the accession seal up here in the top right corner. So we don't want to put too much material there. 
Okay, so that looks like it fits pretty well. We have the roots on there, the shoots on there, and now we can begin placing our glue. And I'm actually gonna do that over here. this okay and this is going to be our front side of the specimen so i'm gonna gently flip it over and i'll begin placing the glue and again just like we did with the label you're just going to place dots along the material not too much and put a little bit on the stems. And again, you'll want to distribute the glue across the material like that. And distribute the glue. That's probably too much. That's okay. And you'll just continue to do that along all of the material. When you have a really slender or narrow bit, you want to try to get glue on that too so um, that it's secured because that's most likely the material that will break off. But we'll put glue strips too to make sure that it stays put. Okay, so now we've distributed all the glue and we're going to put a pretty generous amount here on the roots. And now we're going to place it on the archival paper. And you'll flip it. Okay, again, you wanna make sure that you're showing diagnostic features. So as you can see, this leaf is overlapping the flowers and we definitely wanna see the flowers. So I'm gonna move that. I'm not gonna press anything down until I'm satisfied with the placement of the specimen. So I might need to kind of move this piece this way. It's okay if you get a little messy, you can clean it up. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to move this one so that that leaf is still on the paper. Okay. That looks pretty good. Satisfied with that. So now you can start pressing down the glued material. And at this point, you'll notice that um, you have some loose bits and if possible, you can add glue or you can just simply use um, your paintbrush here or your glue brush in this case and add glue to those loose bits and push them down. So like this here is pretty loose. Add some glue. Just secure those loose bits. And you would do that for the whole specimen. Just make sure everything's secure. And if you go too slow, your glue will dry and then you're kind of re-gluing. So you'll notice that um, some of these stems are kind of loose and they're kind of difficult to glue down. So what we will use are these nice glue strips. And hopefully you can see that this side is kind of yellowish and it's kind of sticky. So that's the side with adhesive. And then you'll see the other side is pretty white. So we're gonna do it with the adhesive side down. And um, it's important to note that you don't wanna just take a big strip and lay it across because that's not very aesthetically pleasing. And additionally, you're wasting all this um, adhesive material so we're gonna cut these to size. So you would imagine where you're gonna place them, kind of think about it. 
and then you'll begin cutting your glue strips using your scissors. And you also want your glue strips to be a uniform size. You see these are nice and narrow, while this one is more narrow at the base and wider at the top, so I wouldn't choose that one. Okay, so you're gonna cut these to shape or to size. And then I'm going to place that one there. But in order for it to be sticky, I need to get it a little bit wet. So I got this nice wet sponge here. This is the really fun part. And you're going to take your glue strip and just dab it on your wet sponge. And then it's sticky. And we place it on the material like that. Make it nice and straight. And you can see it's nice and glued down. And we'll just continue to do that on the loose parts of the specimen. Okay, so now we've secured the plant material. We've added our glue strips. We've added additional glue to the bits that were kind of loose. Um, so now we're gonna place our packet. Our packet is important because it's gonna be our placeholder for material that potentially came off during mounting or if there was additional material um, in the newspaper that didn't make its way onto the archival paper, it would go in the packet. So we have two different sizes of packets here. We have a large packet and a small packet. You can see the difference in size. And we want to fold these in the appropriate manner. So the easiest way is to fold this bottom flap up like that, then this top flap is going to ensure that the plant material doesn't come out. So we're going to fold that down. And then you kind of fold these in, your wings here. And this is still loose, as you can tell. That's not going to work. It's not going to keep the material secure. So we need to tuck in either the right or the left side. doesn't really matter. And we're going to tuck it just like that. So then it's nice and secure. So I'll demonstrate that one more time. So again, here's our packet. Maybe hard to see, but there's a crease. And we're gonna fold along that crease. Just like that. Then we fold down this top flap, like so. And we have our outside wings here. And again, there's a nice little crease. So it should be easy to tell where you fold. So I'm gonna fold in that side. And then I fold in this side. And again, you wanna tuck in one of your sides, doesn't matter which one. And like that, and there you go. This is where people most commonly make the mistake. Sometimes they might have two packets and they might fold both of them at the same time and not realize it, or they might glue the packet upside down. Uh, an easy fix, but it's also pretty easy just to do it the right way the first time, if you just take your time. Okay, so we folded our packet and now we're gonna place it on the specimen uh, we would find the place that has the most room and looks like right here above the label, which typically you want to leave this space open because um, you might have an annotation label. So the species description may change over time um, or maybe it's not identified to the species level and someone later might add um, that identification and then there would be another label here. So typically you want to leave this open, but we don't really have adequate space for our packet anywhere else. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place it here. And again, we're going to be rather conservative with our glue. We don't need a lot. And we're going to place four dots on the corners. Take your glue brush and distribute the glue. And 
And then we're going to place the packet in the proper area. Right there. Press it down. Okay, and if we have any loose material, now would be the time to add it to the packet now that it's secured onto the specimen. So I'm going to open up the packet. And there's this loose bit that I broke while we were mounting. So I'm going to add it to the packet. Then refold the packet like that. Tuck it in. There we go. So now that we have mounted our specimen, we're going to move it to the post mounting station where it will dry and uh, be secured and flattened very nicely to be added to the main collection. So we're going to take our specimen and again using proper handling techniques, nice and flat, two hands, we're going to move it over here. We're going to add to our post mounting station, we're going to add our corgate first. Then we're going to place our specimen. Then we'll add a piece of wax paper. And then a nice piece of foam. And another piece of corget. Go on top. Then if we had another plant specimen, we would put the plant specimen. Then we would add wax paper, foam, and another piece of cardboard. And you would just continue that sequence depending on how many specimens you mounted. But we only did one. So we only need one. And we're going to add, we'll call this the lid. Let's place this on top. And then we would add bricks or something heavy to press down on the specimen. And we would leave that for however long, uh, maybe just a couple hours or a couple days. And then you have mounted a specimen and that's it.